Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you five tips for working in Reaper. Now these are geared towards the beginner. If you're just getting started with Reaper and trying to figure it out, I've got some things here that are going to save you some time. They're going to make your life easier. Everything is going to be better. It's basically five things I wish I knew when I was starting out that I found out later and I'm like, man, I, I lost so much time with these things. My name is Isaac Hernandez. I study, teach and make music. Let's get started. So the very first thing I want to show you, it's very basic, but I legit did not know about this. And it's when you're saving your project is to keep everything organized. And I'm telling you, this is going to save you so much time. So look, all you have to do is very, very simple right here, right? You're saving your project. Make sure that this box is checked on default. It won't be. So everything is just going to go into the folder that you assign it very simply create subdirectory for project now check this out what that's going to do now here is a project that i was working on it's a video on guitar pedals and i've got a bunch of things this one audio clips it's for all the recordings that i made now let me show you all files these in the in the file folder for all my audio stuff these are the render tracks like these are the ones that i was going to use for the actual video right what happens if I didn't check that box, all my project files would be here and I would have literally like 30 more files here. What uh, Reaper does is when you check that box, it creates this folder that says audio. You can name it different things, but I'm, it's fine with audio. These are the actual project files. Like you see these, these are the wave. This is the Reaper file and then the uh, wave file to match it. This is like the actual recording. And look, you don't, you don't want this. Like, look at the name of these things. This is what I named the tracks and like all these numbers and timestamps and stuff like that. You, you don't want that in your main folder. Like, could you imagine like, okay, now I got to pull my regular, my rendered files, right? The ones that I actually need. Now, trust me on this one, guys. I didn't know about this for a while. And I know it's super simple. It's like one check. I just, I didn't know. I didn't bother to look. I just named my files and it must've been like, my first like eight months in reaper it was i still have the folders just like a mess of uh of files and it, it, it was terrible so check that box number two is going to be color coding your tracks when you start getting more into it your projects start getting a little more intricate you want to start keeping things organized and it's color coding and also you could add icons i'm going to show you how to do that okay so say that you have a bunch of tracks obviously there are no files here but look what's going to happen. I'm going to highlight all of them so here, right? I select and you can do this one at a time as, as it goes out and you go to track color, right? Set tracks to custom color, random color to one random color. So there are a couple things I like to use this for random colors. Let's say if you have like four different things, right? So say I'm going to use this track maybe for guitar, then the next one for vocals, the next one for drums. And then the last one for bass, right? Let's say it's going to be that. Okay, no problem. And then here, another, you could take this another uh, level set track icon and Reaper comes with these like really cool things. So you could pick an amp and then boom, right? You could for vocals. So what's cool about this is that you don't have to do this every single time. One, one cool thing is that you can save this as a template. So save tracks as template. And look, you see, I, I don't have many because I only I literally just use the one and it's, it's pretty much this. But like, say, if I go sample two, boom. So now every time I can just go into the right and I can insert from a track template and you see a sample two and it's going to show up from there. So you don't have to do the icon thing every single time. Now, this is going to go right into tip number three, which is making track folders. And this is another way to organize your project a little more because you can start making this and say that these are all going to be guitar like this is a uh, rhythm guitar. Right. And then um, and then the other one is going to be lead guitar. Right. And then maybe you're going to record um, the same rhythm guitar too and it's the same part but maybe you want to start panning left and right and right this is i don't know like lick guitar i don't i don't even know what that is but let's just say you have a bunch right instead of having all your tracks here um what you can do is okay you have a, ma a master guitar track here so look you just drag and dock it underneath oh, i didn't do it right right you see that's just gonna put it there and then if i if it, when the line shortens 
see it goes underneath that so i'm gonna take all of these and dock them here now they're part of this like guitar folder you see that that way you can keep everything organized and here i went through this and it was <laughs> It was painful in the sense that I would have like 15 tracks or like a lot of parts. You get samples and stuff like that. And what happens is like you're scrolling up and down the whole time. Then you're moving things back and forth. It gets messy. That's the, that's the thing. Like at the beginning, maybe you only have like three tracks, four tracks. But once you start getting good, you start getting more intricate with your projects. You want to start, you want to be organized. And then here, for example, you can set these to a, a, a random color. And look, if say you go to a track color, set tracks to one random color. So they're all gonna be the same. I mean, say this is gonna help, this helps me visually because like, okay, all these green ones now, they're all guitar, right? As opposed to, you know, like all my vocals, like if I have multiple vocal tracks, guess what color they're gonna be? Whatever I assign it to that, right? If I go underneath here, okay, boom. And then now I go here track color set track to one random color that way it's, it's just all uniform okay turn it to like a yellowish one that's fine but now i know it's all that one color right what other two i know i'm, I'm really going into the colors here but i just i really like doing this and you can pick the color if you instead of random you can pick custom it just takes a little more uh time i don't really care about it but if you want to make it like super legit you can do that and tip number four is use the stock plugins that come with reaper especially if you're just getting started you don't want to start dropping money left and right there are thousands of paid vsts out there and but reaper comes stock with super powerful plugins so take advantage of those especially if you're learning use the free ones to learn okay so one of my favorite plugins and i'm gonna put it here on the drum track is eq re eq i think i'm saying that correctly it's, it's a multi-band eq you can always just add bands remove bands but four four seems to do it and um what happens here without getting too much into it the eq here you have some presets like if i select band number one you can do a high pass and stuff like that like that's pretty standard for eqs i can do a whole video on just the eq and if, if you would like that, please let me know. I, I, I'd love to, if that's something that you guys want. But another one that I like a lot, and I'm just gonna keep it here, um, just for time's sake, is a compressor. <laughs> one thing that got me at the beginning, and I don't know if this matters to you that much, it's like the interface. I was like, wow, this looks not so good, like like Windows 95, and I might have said that before. But I don't underestimate it. That was the first thing I was like, oh, are they really good? And then I, I really got into them come with a bunch of presets but there's nothing like really crazy about this compressor it just it does what it's gonna do it has all the parameters obviously you have to i could do a whole video on the compressor as well and like what all these controls do again if you want to see that let me know i'd love to do it um but it's 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 legit especially i like i'm not a an expert when it comes to mixing and using all these tools but these i've spent no money and i'm learning a lot just from these tools that are free and they have all the parameters that you're going to find in most compressors and tip number five is freezing your tracks this is something that's very useful when you're using really heavy plugins that are draining your cpu so let's say i have a vsc that's like really draining my cpu especially when they start to pack on it can slow down your your computer and your project your workflow so what you do is freeze the track now you right click render freeze track and you do freeze tracks to mono what that's gonna do is gonna render the audio and turn it into a wave file so this is the, again not the best example because it's it's a wave file to begin with but if you had a synth and it was a midi file it would turn it into a wave file and lock it and it takes your vst offline so that way you're not running it anymore it render that uh that that little clip into a WAV file and then so you can still hear it it's processed but it's not being processed at that time so and, and if you want to tweak it again it's super easy you just go render tracks and unfreeze all tracks you're like okay i want to mess with the effects and it comes back online and it starts using your cpu again so if you have a lot of stuff going on in your project this is going to save your computer and it's going to let you keep working at the speed that you need so those are my five tips for beginners if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments if you would like me to make more videos please let me know in the comments as well don't forget to like and subscribe i'm coming out with these every week and i'll catch you on the next one